Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be kind of like a random video. I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit about uh, what I put on my kid's shelf for today and just kind of like the changes that I made. I had some magnet tiles out and I took those out. I'm doing toy rotation right now, so I'm in the middle of literally toy rotation. So I thought I would get the camera and start shooting and showing you guys what I put out. Uh, also, I'm gonna show you some math stuff that I made for, for Lyric recently and yeah so if you don't follow me on instagram i often show a lot of pictures on there my instagram name is natural american baby i am thinking about changing my channel name i don't even know if i'm allowed to do that but thinking about doing it so <laughs> i don't know if you guys have any ideas on what i should change it to please comment down below i'm a little bored with the name that i have so yeah give me some ideas uh okay so i want to show you guys that our room is a the playroom is kind of a disaster and this is not by my doing but to my kids you know it's, it's messy so i want to show you because the images you guys see on instagram is usually of one of a very clean playroom and it's not always like that so <laughs> let me show you what's going on right now as you can see i have a little bit of a mess maya was playing with kinetic sand so i gotta pick that up this is stuff that they were playing with the kitchen's a disaster i have to clean that up Lyric's desk is a little, well, their desk, I should say, is a little kind of crazy. I'm going to clean it up. There's a big piñata up here hanging for some random reason. <laughs> there is an easel in the middle of the room. And so i got to put that away. And I took this some of this stuff out. This has to be put away. And Okay, so let me show you what, what, the, what it looks like right now. I took out some of their magnet tiles that they had here. And I changed them out. So a lot of times I like to use these clear containers if you have any like, uh, I don't know, small blocks like these. Uh, this brand of blocks is, oh gosh, I don't remember. I found them at the Salvation Army and they were used, but they're actually vintage. This brand uh, still exists, except they've upgraded their blocks. The, this box said that it was made, they were made in West Germany. So they're definitely vintage, but they, all of these go together. But I put them in these clear. This is this container is really dirty. I've had these plastic containers forever, but I like them because they're see-through. I think you can get these anywhere. These are, you know, I'm sure you can get these on Amazon or whatever. Uh, I tend not to buy plastic much, but if I have it already, I'd rather just use it than just throw it away. So, anyways, okay. So I put all this here. I like these because they're flat, and I believe the brand still makes these as well. So you can buy these flat pieces. My girls love them, so yeah. So I rotate these shelves quite often, and I'm gonna show you some more stuff. I always put some cardboard, and not a lot of cardboard going on right now, but I always put cardboard because they like to color it and paint it and use it with their block play. I also put like loose parts, things like this. I collect these. Um, we don't really buy those like fruit pouches, but we have in the past, and I've always collected them. You know, you can do a lot of things with them, like counting and they can use them like for block play. They like to build them. So I'll set up, I'll like leave this open and I'll set it up like that just so they can see. And then in here is, uh, what's in here? Sorry, I'm holding the camera and holding. Yeah, so these are just the little people and cars that came with these blocks over here. Um, they came with all these little character, little, you know, just men and women and stuff. They're actually quite cute, but I don't think that the new ones are made in Europe anymore I'm not sure so okay so there's that I also put out a little fence that they use as a little thing that stretches and it uses a little like uh, for their animals if they want to make a farm and just their blocks and some more blocks a book and um, yeah okay so then over here I have some loose parts here and some tree twigs um, more blocks uh i one little tip is that if you don't want to buy trees like this made out of wood that are kind of more on the pricier side you could always use pine cones and have your kids paint them green and then they can be part of the play so it's a lot of fun yeah uh okay so then we have our pig dolls that we made ourselves these are Wicca sticks. I think the brand is Wicca sticks, but there's other brands. I'm not really sure if this is, this is the actual brand Wicca sticks, but basically they're just made out of wax and they're bendable and my kids really, really love them. They are huge fans of this and they use them for um, with their block play. They use them with their animals. 
Lyric really uses them a lot for number recognition. She makes numbers out of them, letters, letter recognition, um, all kinds of different things. She makes faces with them and a lot of fun stuff. And they have just different, um, they had a princess, but I don't know what happened to her. She's around here somewhere. They have a queen. Um, yeah, so their shells and their rocks that they still are very much into lately. And then over here, other than their cars, I put out some, uh, just some scarves and things for open-ended play. And uh, I put out their puppets because these puppets, they are huge fans of these Ikea puppets. They've been really into them lately. They are kind of obsessed with uh, doing puppet shows for us, my husband and I, and sometimes we're part of the puppet show, so <laughs> that's a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna put these somewhere, but these are uh, rocks that they made that they're still really into playing with. I also put out some art, some art supplies. Now, they always have access to the art supply, but I like to include art supplies into their shelves usually. So this is just some paint and some paintbrushes and some cardboard. Then over here, I added something for Lyric, but I mean, Maya can play with it too, but. So Lyric can count way past 10. I don't really know what number she counts to it. I don't remember, but. Uh, so what I did here is I took out some cardboard, just some recycled stuff. And I obviously, you can see what I did. I skipped some numbers. All she does is look for the appropriate number and then she just kind of clips it where it goes. So it's a little bit of a fun activity and it uh, really was really, really easy to, to make. So I did that. Then over here we have some uh, plant toys puzzle that goes up to 10 and they have to count. And then, um, here I'll open it up so you guys can see. Uh, but Maya really likes these, and even though she can, you know, she can't count to 10 yet, but she just likes to like find the number that goes there. They have to count and then they put the appropriate number and then in the back there's the number. But these are made by Plantoids and my kids really like them. Then I put out some grams, but I had to clean up all this area as you can see. Um, over here, I'm going to leave out this. This is something Lyric was working on. Uh, she's already made three different ones. So this is, we're talking about like self-portraits a lot. So this is uh, Lyric here. <laughs> and she made that using some leaves, some burlap, um, different types of fabric, some dried beans, some, um, I think these are called fasteners. But yeah, so um, jewelry and uh, here she used a beer top for her dress that she made. And there's, she's working on a third one. And there's a fourth one as well, and I'll try to find an image for you guys so you guys can see. But yeah, so it's a lot of fun, as you can see. I'm leaving out some burlap for her, some glue. And this is just what's left. I had a lot more stuff in here, but this is just what's left of the stuff that I have put in here. Um, all kinds of ribbon and fabric so she can get creative with her outfits. So there's that. And then um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this whole area all of this, this, I put a portrait of herself, a picture of herself. I'm gonna move this to her um, art desk. And then I'm gonna put something similar here for Maya to work on. This is why I want a bigger desk, guys. This is why I want something like a lot that goes from like here to here would be nice. Uh, yeah, but I gotta kind of clean up a little bit of <laughs> my kids in this piñata. And there's just one more thing I wanna show you guys real quick on some, some other math stuff that I, quick, I made for Lyric. Okay, so this is really, really simple. First thing is I made cards like this, basically. Obviously one side has more than the other and I kind of got creative with it. it some of them have our stars. Um, this one is, it's just cardboard. But these are from Trader Joe's cardboard box of cheese crackers. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I made a bunch of them, like a lot of them. And you can do stars, you can get creative and make it more, you know, more colorful or whatever you want. And then I just made the mouth, right? And she puts it in the appropriate direction like this. And you can really have a lot of fun with this and just kind of create a game with them. Um, so I did that for her. Okay, and then the next thing I did, I'm gonna try to show you guys this real quick, but I just put out, I'm gonna put out these numbers that I made and then I put a bunch of loose parts so she could either put the appropriate amount on, so she can glue, for example, if she wanted to glue, um, you know, three different items onto 
this three she could I put out or she could just color it in whatever she really wants but I'll show you guys what I have in here so basically sorry everything just kind of moved over but I have some shells some pom-poms some this glass stone some leaves some fabric um, this uh, wine cork and I'm gonna put some glue in here as well and then um, I'm also gonna put some colors like uh, colored pencils or, or anything and then I'm gonna put this out for her so um, this is a lot of fun for Lyric. She really likes it. So, yeah. Lyric really likes numbers. She likes to learn. Uh, she really likes to do a lot of counting and addition. And I'm going to put some footage in of something else that I recently created. And so you guys can kind of see. But it, basically, all I did was put out some numbers like these cardboards. And I also did uh, some tree twigs. And then we did some subtraction and addition. And she had a ton of fun with it. She really, really loves uh, math, so I know she's only five, but she it's one of her things that she really likes to do, so I always encourage it, and she has a lot of fun with it. And yeah, so I just quickly wanted to show you guys this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was really, really short, but um, since I was changing things up, I thought I would show you. Uh, I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye!